Well, I never knew what Lou Faramineau syndrome was. It's a defect in the TP53 gene, um, which is a tumour protein gene and suppresses tumours from growing. Everyone has the TP53 gene, but people with Lou Faramineau, theirs is broken. So it makes us susceptible to developing multiple cancers in our lifetime. Before I got diagnosed, I think I was at my peak, like I was the happiest I've ever been. I was very outgoing, very confident, really enjoying life. And I know that sounds very cliche, but it's so true. Um, and then I lost my hair, which was very hard to deal with. And also I had not long met my partner. I had been with my partner two months. <laughs> um, so then having him shave my hair off was very hard. And for him to see me Losing my eyelashes, losing my eyebrows was very difficult too. And then I just felt like I lost myself completely. If you have Lee syndrome or LFS as it's called, um, you are living essentially under this sort of sword of Damocles, uh, concerned at any moment that you might develop cancer. There is some really nice information that has come from some mouse work in the United States that has shown that in a mouse model of LFS, the uh, diabetic drug metformin actually works very well at preventing the onset of cancer. But fundamentally, we want to tr see whether the data that's come from the mouse models is also the same in humans, um, in people with LFS. And the design of the study is that we are going to be giving people aged 16 and above uh, metformin to take every day for up to five years and looking to see how it affects their outcome and how they do. The research is really exciting and it gives me a lot of hope for the future. There's so much waiting for you out there.